the Charity Charis, GHP It's Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke. The In the last episode, we took on the trial of Lush Jungle and we defeated the Tudum Lorantis. In today's episode, we're going to visit the Dimensional Research Lab. Okay, let's do this. Um. I need to activate Charizard Fly, don't I? And fly back to here, here, city. And now I can visit this house. Hello. You seem, um, you seem to really love um, the unbelievable man time set. I'd really love to see an unbelievable man time uh, server, skilled enough to take the top rank in every spot of uh, uh, lowest four surf spots. Big at you. Um. By the way, if you do, if you are able to somehow be master man time surfing, you will get a special Pokemon from this guy. And it is, again, soft resettable to shininess. It is a shiny Pikachu. Uh, it is a possible shiny Pikachu with a move that you'll remember from Pokemon Yellow. It's surfing Pikachu. Spoilers. Uh, don't really think I'm going to be planning on getting it myself because it would take a lot of hard work and I'm not into that. <laughs> not that I'm not into hard work, I'm just saying I'm not into doing that hard work. I'm into, I am very much into hard work. I mean, look at my channel, I've been doing it for over four years now. And uh, look at the subscriber rate, uh, we're only like 450 subscribers, but I've seen people, uh, you know, like I started before people like Game Boy Luke and Padders even started, and they just they skyrocketed overnight. What do they have? I don't. I don't know, but it's they had something. Hey, uh, give me that. Miramoto, hello. I am the game director. That. For Rotom Dex is pretty fun, isn't it? If you manage to fill up the Pokédex, would you come and show me? Everybody at Game Freak loves sweets. Really? Okay, I'll remember to bag a ba I'll bring a bag of jelly beans to Game Freak's head office next time I'm there. Oh wait, I don't go there. <laughs> But I do love jelly beans. Question of the day, what is your favorite sweet? You know, or candy if you're American and you like candy, you probably know sweets as candy. But here in the UK, it's called they're called sweets and they're really nice. Uh, you probably know sweets as like a dessert in America, but mm, I'm talking about like uh, can, I'm talking about like sweets for the sweet shop. Uh, you probably can't handle British candy now, can you Americans? But can, uh, British candy is uh, British uh, sweets are good. I like British sweets. Uh, probably my favorite. Now, if you know this, if you know these sweets, then you are like my friend for life. If you know where to get these sweets, then again, you are my friend for life. Mojos. I like mojos. There is a sweet when I was young called mojos, and I used to be able to buy it. Am I? I used to know a load of sweet shops that sell it, but these days it's really hard to find. It's quite easy to find online, but it's quite hard to find anywhere else. But I love Mojo's, so if you know what Mojo's are, then me and you are friends. If you don't know what Mojo's are, go and look them up. Mojo. And also maybe put Mojo and Sweet, you know, and then you'll find out what the hell they are. Hey, lemonade! Thank you. I 
Are you out on your own challenge? When you've completed it, come back to me. Don't forget about me, okay? I won't. Oh, uh, you're a player. We've been making games here. What colour do you, uh, would you like to choose? Um, well, out of those colours, I was a blue guy. I was P Pokemon Blue's my first game. Blue, huh? Interesting. I'd uh, probably type. I'd pop. I'd say you're probably the type who does what you want, even when it's not the popular thing. That is true. That is true. I do what I want, even when it's not the popular thing. Clefairy's the cutest. Ooh, I want to hug it and squeeze it. Uh, yeah, I would like to do that too. Getting uh, to have everyone play the game that I helped make is a dream come true. Do you think they asked people, uh, do you think Game Freak actually did that? Like they went round to people in their offices and uh, basically just took, uh, got them to have a quote and put that in the game? Cello. You know, I just love uh, saying nice to meet so many, uh, I just love Getting to meet so many trainers, no matter where they are in the world. What's up here, then? Oh, it's Aether Foundation. Great uh, if there was someone who knew it's a trainer. Uh, that would be me. Thank you so much. Please take this Pokeball. I got the left Pokeball. I wonder sometimes does the relationship between Pokemon and trainer ever change when one of them goes missing? I don't know. That is weird. That's a sign I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, that's an egg. I got Roto Hatch. Okay, cool. I got Roto Hatch. I mean, I don't really feel like I'm going to be hatching that many eggs here, but, you know, Roto Hatch is cool. Nebby, use Splash! Pew! <laughs> I was just trying to act like Ember. You seem... You always, uh... Seemed to end up getting hurt, Nebby. Seeing that uh, pains me just a little. And... If there was... Uh, if I was getting hurt... But if I could manage to become strong as How or Ember, then maybe this things would be different. I mean, yeah, possibly, but the fact is, it's Nebby. Nebby has Splash, and Nebby only learns Splash until it evolves into Cosmoan, and then it learns Harden. And then it, and it learns nothing after that until it evolves into Sol Galeo, and that's where it learns moves. So, uh, that are attacking moves. So, really, you're not helping yourself here uh, by trying to say, learn splash, uh, use splash, because splash does nothing. Pew! Oh! Um. Oh, Ember, hello. Um, I feel like it's been a while since we last met. 
There's a laboratory here that studies dimensions. Did you know that? Uh, yes, Kakui told me. And the professor is uh, waiting to meet you. Uh, how are your trials going? Uh, it must be uh, quite... Um, uh, it must be quite trying to do three in a row. Um, it was really tough. I would think so, but still, you made it through all three. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I think that explains it. The reason why you're so confident and understood by your Torah cat there, I mean... And then this is the big one. Professor Oak wants to talk to you. Oh, hello there. It's Sam. It's me, Samson Oak. I see you've collected some totem stickers. Would you please come see me by Here Here Beach? Now, uh, with totem Pokemon or these special totem Pokemon, I'm going to allow it as as the set encounter law, uh, or the set encounter law that I allow myself to do, which is basically. I'm only allowed one of these, so I'm only allowed to cash this in once, I believe. But I do get to pick which one I want. Uh, so, I mean, right now I can only get Totem Gumshoes or Totem, uh, I think it's like Totem Radicate, and I don't know if I want them. You ought to ask, actually, you ought to let me know how I should deal with Totem Pokemon. Should I allow them? I mean, I've recently learned they do nothing. Nothing changes. Just a, It's just a big Pokemon. Nothing changes, that's all it is. Just a big Pokemon. So, I don't know if it's actually even worth the hassle of collecting totem stickers and actually, you know, doing it. Is it worth the hassle to just get a big Pokemon? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Ooh, I am red lighting. And I've still got like 15 minutes left of this episode, so I would prefer to you continue on this episode. Hey there, honey. Uh, hey there, honey. Oh, hi. This is Professor Bennett. She's my wife. Hands off. She runs the Dimensional Research Lab. Yeah, she also happens to be my wife. Still, hands off. You're Ember, right? Lily told me all about you. She said you were the reliable, reliable sort. Yes, I am a reliable sort. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach, naked. Cosmog and it was in her bag, and she was unconscious. Hmm. Now how today? You know, he's doing his own thing. But he's going to be the real deal someday. He could even be... He could even become a better kahuna than his old dad. Hal, his old granddad, Halla, before him. Oh, you really think so? Whoa-ho! Yeah, I really do. Good to see you again, Hal. It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyways, I brought Ember here because uh, I want you to tell her about st some of the uh, mysterious phenomenons going on here in Alola. I'd be happy to. Um, the mysteries of Alola. Hmm. That's got to be the Ultra Wormhole. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky above Alola. It's not as rare as you think. It appears that a rift uh, leads to a different unknown dimension. The reason that uh, people think that uh, there are uh, there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of some fearful Pokémon appearing from the Ultra Wormholes. Pew! It's very weak as proof, but we can't ignore it. 
uh, there are plenty of there's plenty of evidence in the Pokedex uh, for its existence already uh, of different dimensions, right? There's some Pokemon, even uh, more than wild Pokemon. Uh, sometimes even wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? Yes, they do. But uh, Pokemon that appear in the, from the Ultra Wormhole are way beyond that. They're called Ultra Beasts, and they're what we fear. If the stories are to be believed, our guardian deities uh, fought desperately against them. But, but like I said, it's legends and folk tales, so we don't know how much is true. It's like uh, comments on the 4chan or Reddit. You don't know how much that is true, too. But uh, I would uh, I would be very, very happy to unravel to the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying dimensional, well, dimensional disturbances. We've recorded several uh, known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions in the books there on the bookshelf of this lab. Palkia. Its total control of boundaries and space enables it to transport itself to faraway places, even other dimensions. Giratina. It's said to live in a world uh, on the reverse side of our world. world, where common knowledge is distorted and strange. Bronzong. It sport rains uh, by opening portals from another world. It uh, was revealed to, as a bringer of plentiful harvests. So, Dialga. Uh, no, sorry, not Dialga. Palkia, Giratina, and then Bronzog. <laughs> Just like the three cannot, you know, come together worse, really. You know, one of these things is not like the others. We've recorded several uh, known relationships between people and Pokemon. You can find them on the bookshelf there in the lab. Thank you for telling me that. Hey Lily, you want to know about what happened to me three months ago? Uh, yeah, if you don't mind. Well, I want to. I wanted to learn more about Nebby. I mean Cosmog. Um, so I decided to come speak to Professor Bennett. But I got lost along the way, and I ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story and stayed up all night to hear it all. And then she got her husband, Professor Kahui, to lend me his loft to stay in. And she told him to help investigate Nebby's origins too. Professor Bennett is so kind. She's uh, still helping me try to find a way to get Nebby back to her, uh, his home. She's like been a real. She's like like a mum to me. I saw that. Give me that. Thank you. Hey, Professor. How about that, Ember? If Ultra Beasts are really out there, I wonder what kind of moves they use. Well, you finished all of Alaka's trials. Woo! Who? And you know what comes now? It comes to that big match between you and Olivia. The Island Kahuna. The biggest and baddest trial of them all on Alaka Island. The Grand Trial. Good luck. Olivia's house is just past Diglett's Tunnel in Kokoni City. In Konikoni City. Um, I have uh, some things to do, and I want to talk about Professor Bet. I want to talk about Professor Bennett with too. Uh, so I'm gonna stay here. Being able to uh, move to go uh, to more places makes me feel well. Uh, it makes it uh, feel like uh, you're getting along well with your partners, uh, Pokemon too. It's pretty great. Uh, 
Let's go down to floor one. Diglett's tunnel. What a lovely bunch. I want a, I want a place named after me too. The Roto Tunnel? That's it. You've got to dig out the Roto Tunnel someday. Let's explore Diglett's Tunnel right now. Oh, more Roto Boosts. I don't need more Roto Boosts. It's the one, it's the one that's most common out of these, really. I like Roto, uh, but my favourite is Roto EXP. What was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky. Hey, Ember. So you made it for all three trial captains, yeah. Then, uh, there's only one thing left to do. Go, uh, go to meet uh, Kahuna Hala. She lives in the town past... Uh, no, Kahuna Olivia. She lives in the town past uh, Diglett's Tunnel. Diglett's Tunnel is, uh, let's see. It's kind of near the PMC. The Pokemon Center. It's really easy to walk to. Uh, walk past. So keep your eyes peeled. Now it's Melisada time for me! He's, I think he said that as he was running away. As he was running to get the Melisadas, he was, uh, he said that. So I'm guessing, so that's, uh, so I made it look like he said it as he's running. You know, you're talking to someone and then you just decide to run away mid-conversation and you can still hear them in the background and stuff like that. People say that's rude, but I don't know. Oh, Amber was it? This cave is really something, you know? It's overflowing these Pokemon called Diglett. And they're really... And they're really getting out of hand. And mediocre trainers can't get through. So how's your island challenge going? Let me see those crystals you've earned. Oh, it looks... Uh, you, looks like you did it. Nice work. You even passed Mallow's trial. Well done. The Diglett has settled down too. It seems that uh, however strong you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end is Co your cone. You'll find Coney Coney City. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. Okie dokie. This is a new route. New encounter. That's dupes. That's dupes. Find another encounter. That's dupes as well. Is there actually anything in here I can catch? But I can't catch Diglett. I can't catch uh, Zubat. Is there anything in here I can catch? I actually don't know if there's anything I can catch here. Phew. Uh, with Olivia in charge, we finally managed to uh, to ha make some uh, headway with those Diglets. Oh, Alola. We're members of the Aether Foundation. We support uh, Pokemon conservation. We work to support con Pokemon conservation. It seems like Team Skull are responsible for these Diglet being all riled up. So it's bringing them to the surface. Oh, uh, Team Skull are the group of troublemakers, you see. I know what Team Skull is. Uh, you seem uh, to delight in interference. Uh, you seem, they seem to delight in interference 
both trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally uh, live in embodied uh, systems and of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. We're here to ensure their return to these tunnels and uh, let people pass through without having to fight so many Pokemon. Some of these Diglets are stuck uh, on or near the surface, so please be careful. I will, I will. Hey, a Hyper Potion! Can I get some? Uh, is this an encounter I can catch? Nope, that's a Zubat. Yeah, I really don't know if I can catch anything here. Ah, no way, man. Just when things are starting to get heated up, yo. I got surrounded by Diglett and beat up, yo. Yo, since uh, when can Diglett use beat up, yo? I'm so I'm so mad now. I want to beat up some on some fools. Don't be mad, cause uh, you're the fool who's just dumb enough to be here right now. Ember. I was uh, wondering who you're playing around with without me, and it's Team Skull. Yo, you want some? Hmm. That's how people say hello. We say hello. Nice knowing you, punks. Can I make it to the Pokemon Center and uh, battle these Team Skull grunts all before my battery goes dead? Because I'm flashing red lights right now and I'm actually kind of worried. Alright, level 23s. Not too much to worry about. I'm going to bite. Oh, you flinched. Cool. And you bite, too. Um, I'm going to go for the bite on the slander now. Quick attack. There we go. Slander beat. Glare. Oh, you glared me. Why are you glared me? Alright, how will you finish him off then? Yo, step off already. Enough with the beating up, yo. We might be trying... We're not trying to take over the world or nothing, but we still uh, hard as a bone out here, y'all. Uh, see you on the flip side. Man, Ember, when I fight with you, it uh, it's like my Pokemon uh, I feel more at ease. You're really some kind of trainer. That's it. I've got to do some, just got to give you something. Maxifa, thank you. That's actually quite useful. Maxifa's restore all the PP of your moves. You know, that's pretty great. Right. It's uh, pretty much like Roto PP Restore from the Roto Lotto, yeah. Um You know, I've got to get to, this, to have I've got to go and have some more fun with these diglets. See you later. Yeah, maybe I should save. And 
we are back. Sorry about that, my battery died in my DS. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna cut out a little bit of this episode and then I'm gonna bring it and then I'm gonna bring it back uh, uh, to finish off this episode. So there's a conversation that you guys uh, I had in the previous episode that I'm gonna uh, well in the previous section of this video and we're gonna cut that out and replace it with the new convers uh, uh, re do redo that conversation with this guy here. Oh, a trial going trainer you are. Lucas, my name. I travel the world and its many lands for my own private reasons. Alola is a nice place. It's so peaceful. It's most ideal for a vacancy. I was just here in Coney Coney City, where I got the most unusual stone from Miss Olivia. No one here is so terrible to try and create their own world or liberate Pokemon from trainers. Yes, peaceful indeed. Though concerns me, I have uh, uh, heard reports about some infamous Pokemon Mafia. Ah, forgive me for keeping you. I will give you this Thunderstone if you were uh, to forgive my rudeness. I have bought uh, without thinking. I bought three without thinking. I obtained a Thunderstone. Yay! Do good. Uh, do have a good adventure on your trial, my friend. I will. I have to face you, don't I? On my way to the, uh, on my way to Coney Coney City's I would uh, Coney Coney City's uh, Pokemon Center. I have to face at least one trainer. That's fine. Herdia, I can handle a Herdia. Go, Roderick. The Intimidate's annoying, but I can handle this. Okay. Take down. That did a lot more damage than I wanted it to do. But that's fine. Double kick doing the damage. Hey, we made it to Coney Coney City. I just gotta make it to the Pokemon Center, and then I will save to uh, it will uh, finish off this episode there. Or save, turn it off, and uh, that'll be the end of this episode and this session of episodes. And I'm here. I am here at Coney Coney City's Pokemon Center. And that means it's the end of the episode. Yes, this part, the second part doesn't, isn't really that long. I will admit this, but the fact is it didn't really need to be. My The original episode was like 31 minutes. Uh, well, it was like 28, 29 minutes. And then my battery died. So that was almost an official episode. So if you add part two, if you add this bit uh then basically you got a full length episode really anyway so if you enjoyed today's episode please leave a like comment and subscribe but until next time i'm jewish ph games and answer today's question today which of course is what is your favorite sweet let me know in the comment section down below mine are mojos but if you want something that's regularly available jelly beans i love jelly beans anyway till next time i'm jewish ph games and i am out see you uh yeah oh wait no wait that's not my outro here. Right. My outro here is I'm Jewish PH Games. Mean de la Pokemon get the laser. Everybody get Pokemon. Alola. There we go.